YouTube, I've got a blast from the past for you. Before I was a streamer, before I was a YouTuber, before I was someone who mattered in the internet world, I was the general manager of an esports team. And before that, I was an esports fan. I would go home, turn on AOL, and then I'd, I'd watch the pictures of esports because that's what it was like when I, in, in 1980 or something like that. And today I wanna share with you some of my past, my favorite moments in esports history as put together by the Score Esports who did all the hard work. Let's go to the Score Esports. Let's go to the Score Esports. Kicking off our list at number 10 is a place so iconic, it added a whole word to the esports dictionary. The audio from this clip is so fucking bad. And a melee is double. Get your ass whooped from Brandon is so funny. Pulled off an unavoidable zero to death combo that was undoubtedly hype. But the reaction from the What's even funnier is the combo nowadays. Melee has gotten so turbo virgy, right? At the time, not even at the time, I remember watching this in 2014, like when I was getting into it, and was like, holy shit, this is amazing. This is Super Smash Bros. Melee. And now you see some absolutely disgusting team shit in like round two of bracket. <laughs> Just yelling oh too is so funny. This is what I want commentary in the Super Bowl to look like. I want Joe Buck just to go, oh, oh, when they catch the ball. It'd be so fucking sick. <laughs> it's taking the number nine spot on our list is a play that not only won TI3, it brought Alliance back from the brink. Puck's dream coil ability leashes enemy heroes, forcing them Puck to stay near it or take trickster. more damage and get stunned. But when S4 landed a coil against both Dendi and Puppy, it literally won the game for Alliance. I feel like I played Dota three times in my life and I look up and it's a thousand hours. He's got BKB, but no boots of travel. Phonics down! Alliance are doing it! The Kings of the North! Alliance wins! If Dota games didn't regularly go over an hour, I would play it more for sure. Coming in at number eight is a play that looks incredible. Did anyone see that tier list the guy made of how hard it was to go pro in each esport? And he put Rocket League in D tier, and the Rocket League community was not happy about it. Here it comes. Energy need this immediately. They've got the kick off in their favor. Kato tries to clear. It is almost there. It just hits the floor. But a Panda puts it the long way. And it's almost there. Justin keeps it alive. Teleports are there. Actually insane. This is Rocket League! This is Rocket League! <laughs> Next time I get a 10 bomb in SAP, this is Super Auto Pets! So that you expeke's back door is taking the number seven spot on our list. <laughs> there was a time in my life where I would watch this play and I would feel bad for Ocelot, and then he became an Andrew Tate dick rider, and now it's even funnier that he cried. <laughs> Expeke playing Cassidy. Look at how low his health is. So for those of you that don't know League of Legends, this is the Nexus. If this dies, the team wins. Expeke is here as Cassidy. Very little health. Kevin chasing him down. Someone else coming back. The rest of the team fighting in the other base. If Expeke dies, the game is probably over. It's all or nothing. And he fucking gives him. You can see this coming in there. Peke is definitely on towards the Nexus. Kevin is going to be able to go towards him. He's trying to do it. But meanwhile, the juke on the Cho'Gath. Oh, the juke on the Cho'Gath is disgusting. Here it comes. <laughs> Literally just walk up and press R, Cho'Gath. What are you doing? <laughs> the other good Expeke clip, I think there's... I didn't want to get away from this video, but this is actually my favorite Expecte clip, and we can show it because we've just showed him winning in, like, epic fashion. <laughs> miss. 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 Oh, miss. Fuck shit, man. He's too tanky. <laughs> Can't do <laughs> shit. Too man. tanky. Too tanky, man. I sometimes say it when I'm playing Valorant. <laughs> I go out, I whiff completely. I'm too tanky. Hey, we can't do shit. Too tanky. Simple's falling off at ESL1 Cologne has the swagger you'd expect the no -scope? from the Ukrainian sniper. Oh my god. Simple, I, I don't know, man. If he just comes in with that, there's nothing. Oh, the no the no what a crazy... In the same place even the, the thought to make this play is crazy. Your teammate it, it just gets shot. Why do you look up? Why do you look up? Jumping casually into the side. He's going to fall down again. 
It shouldn't have worked, but that's the simple magic, right? The best players find ways to get it done. When you're on the biggest stage in esports, it can be easy to lose your cool. Their opponents, Invictus Gaming, set up for a huge team fight using Naga Siren's ult and Darkseer's vacuum. Oh. But between Juggernaut's magic immunity and the Black King bar that Enigma was holding, Navi had the tools to fight back. Navi is about to be caught. Oh, the BKBs, the stolen BKB's Ravage, everything about this. Oh, this could be a total disaster. Vacuum in. Ravage on it's funny to watch Black Tidehunter Black use it, Black and then Black Hole Black comes Black down, Black and then Rubik Black uses it, and it's way more valuable. <laughs> Basically, if you remember the first clip, the Wombo, one team tried to Wombo and the other team flipped it upside down and Mombo'd him. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely hit the Uno reverse card on him. Coming in at number four is a play that didn't just win a game. It completely changed the meta. <laughs> It's Boxer's Bunker Rush. Terrans are so cringe, Starcraft dude. And I say that as someone ever. who played Terran in Starcraft 2 for a long time. When Boxer used his crisp micro to unleash the Bunker Rush on yellow in the 2004 ever OSL semifinals, it ended the best of five in a 30-minute sweep. It was a sweep, I believe. Boxer just shit on him. Uh, if you are having, if you don't know StarCraft, imagine like this is a long board game and someone cheesed you and won it in the first three turns, four games in a row <laughs> in a best of seven. Taking the number three spot on our list is CSGO's play of the decade. It's What's crazy, to look at the names that are on TSM. For those of you that are maybe newer CSGO heads, Dupree, Ziffix, Kerrigan, KGMB, Device. Oh, is this Astralis pre-Astralis? It is. And they left, I remember, because they said that TSM didn't give them enough resources. They were not doing enough for them. TSM could have been the most goaded team in CSGO history, and they didn't. And in CSGO, no Deagle play is more iconic than Happy's Rampage at DreamHack Open London 2015. And Grand Finals, 8-9, you're on an eco, this is how you get it done. We talked about earlier simple, great players making great plays, this shit's fucking wild. Uh, Kenny S is actually side. back to CS, and I saw well, him drop like a 40 bomb in a game the, the other corner. day. Happy with one dig. Oh, and another one! Oh, and a third! Happy! He can get another one here too! praying for one. Debris is like sweating bullets. Blah, blah, blah. And, and then this one. <laughs> the, the last one is so disgusting. Is like I actually think the last one is more disgusting than all of them. Because he's like, imagine. You, you know in his head he's like, I mean, this is not where he is, but imagine. Sweating bullets. Happy he said he got the quad <laughs> He hit the magic. He hit the Kobe. Ah, that's actually probably the greatest play in League of Legends history. And finally, I'm almost assured the right? number one the Evo moment 37. Oh, I'm getting nerd chills. With Daigo sitting on a sliver of health, Justin tried to chip him out with Chun Li's super, betting that the beast couldn't parry every hit. Oh. Footsies. Oh. That's so sick. New Street Fighter's coming out. Million dollar prize for Capcom Cup. Anyone grinding? Could you do it with that crowd behind you? Yeah, chat. With the round on the line? On the with line? With Justin Wong sitting next to you and mashing furiously to screw up your timing? In 2004? <laughs> Not like in 2004. Half of you weren't even alive, chat. There it is. <gasps> the greatest esports moment of all time. Famous... Videos taken moments before disaster. COVID struck. I lost all joy of esports and left. <laughs> I hope all of you can find joy in esports because I've lost it. But I do remember the love I once had. And maybe someday I'll get back there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.